Hey guys, this is Krishan, and this is the life of a web developer. Don't drop the phone. What if I do? Oh no! <laughs> I know that right now there are many people trying to be programmers and they don't know what to do and how to do it. And so this is me sharing my story and how I became a web developer in three months. So what happened is that I actually had a dead end job. You know, for me, I was someone who uh, barely graduated high school. I went to college thinking, you know, I have to go because that's the only way I can make good money. And then I had no interest in it. I got bored. I started skipping classes and. By the time I was within my first six months into college, I just stopped going. Uh, so what happens is that I had a dead end job, not really knowing where my life would take. Um, and what happens is that I finally got a really good job. Okay, you have to imagine. I, again, I had no high school diploma. I didn't even do anything in college. Barely went to college, and I had a job that paid me eighteen dollars an hour. For someone like me to get paid that much is actually a lot. I've been paid ten dollars an hour, twelve dollars an hour, fourteen dollars an hour, but with no degree and eighteen dollars an hour, that's actually really good. So I took the job right away, and as I was working at the office, I realized uh, not that I want a job that just pays well, but I want to be able to take care of my family also. So this is a dead end job. There's nowhere I'm going to go. I'm not going to get a raise. I'm not going to climb up the ladder to a small company. I need to do something. So what happened? that I actually saw this video on YouTube and I'll post it on the, li the link in the description below but I saw this video on YouTube called Why Code and I watched this video and I saw these videos of Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, and the founder of Twitter was on there and what they talked about was how programming is actually much more within your reach than you could ever imagine and so I thought about it, maybe I can be a programmer. They get all these perks, they're treated well, most of them are treated well at their companies and they get paid very well and so what I did is I started searching online and I found this link to teamtreehouse.com and I'll post that link below too. I clicked at that link and I saw that I could get seven days free. So I went ahead, tried the seven days, and you know, I had a free trial and I made my first website. I went to the basic HTML class, they had a basic CSS class, and I made my very first website. And when I made that website, I felt like I was a king of the world. I just used code, right? And I used code to make a website that says hello world. That's amazing. Not many people can do that. And I realize, wow, being a programmer is a lot easier than people imagine. For someone like me, who's not smart at all, who has very bad memory, even if you're not the smartest person in your school, you can still be a programmer. So what happened is I went to treehouse.com, started taking more classes. Three months down the line, I have so love with code that even during work, I would still code. I would, you know, when my boss isn't looking, I'll go ahead and I'll go on treehouse.com and I'll learn some HTML, CSS, and I'm like, oh man, no one's looking. And I got so good to the point that I started making multiple websites, uh, but very minor ones, as in like just small ones that no one will ever use. And what happens is that three months after I started learning, uh, my boss takes me to the office, you know, three month review, and my boss tells me, Chris, you know, we've noticed that you haven't been focusing on work so much. In my mind, I'm like, yeah, I've been learning code. <laughs> you haven't been, you know, uh, focusing on work so much. Uh, and we need to let you know you need to step it up or you might be let go. You know, imagine me hearing that. Of course, I got worried. And I'm like, what is wrong with me? Why did I put so much effort to learn code? Uh, I need, you know, and now I need to make sure I step it up. I can't code during work anymore. I have to let it go. So what happens is I go back to my office and I start working. But I still kept thinking of code. What is wrong with me? I, I might get laid off soon. I might get fired, actually. Then I realized, man, maybe I could do something with it. My job's not safe anymore, so I need, might as well look for a new job. And while I look for a new job, I might as well look for a job that's looking for web developers. So I go on Craigslist.com, Indeed.com, and I tell myself to apply to two office jobs a day, while at the same time applying to two developer jobs a day. So I did this for two straight weeks. After two weeks, I got an interview. I called the office. They picked up the CEO and he said he wants to meet with me the next day. I've only been studying code for three months and the CEO interviewed me to become a developer at a company. I don't even have a website yet. I just, I'm actually barely working on one. You can't imagine my excitement and how nervous I was and how I didn't want to throw away this opportunity. Overnight, I stayed up till 2 or 3 a.m. and I made my first website, which is ChrisShawnLife.com right now. And I'll post that in the description too. Made that website, showed it to the CEO, and when he interviewed me, he asked me why I wanted to become a programmer, or why do I code, what do I like about it, and I told him, it's the best thing that ever happened to me. 
I feel like when I create something with code, I feel like I'm the most powerful person in the world. I feel like my, my limits are only upon how much effort I put to become a better programmer. So on that spot, he hired me, and not just that, I was making $30,000 a year. He increased my salary. I'm not rich, I'm not wealthy, but I'm able to survive and learn code and take care of my family now. Hey YouTube, I actually didn't get to finish my vlog the other night. Um, I'll let you know that anyone can be a programmer. It uh, doesn't matter what people say, what you can or can't do. It doesn't matter if you know code now or if you only know little or a lot. Um, it doesn't matter what your past, your experience. Uh, what's most important is that you just go for it. So if you want, check out the link below, treehouse.com. Um, click that, you get seven days free. Try out coding just to see how it works. And really, uh, you never know what could happen. If you would have told me months ago that I'd be in a position that I am today, I would have never believed you. You know, so just go for it, give it a try, and don't be someone that regrets, what if I did try? What if I actually went for it? Would my life be different now? So go for it, and leave me a comment, let me know how it goes, email me if you have any questions. Until next time, this is Chris Sean, the life of a web developer, and I'm out. All right, see you guys. Hey YouTube, I actually didn't get to finish my vlog the other night, um, but I just wanted to say, you know, this is uh, don't. Second take. <laughs> anyway, how do you feel? Good. Good. Stage presence. It's recording. This is hard. How do you, how do you stand still? What do you mean? They have steady. Yeah, you keep your elbows close to your body. Where? All right. Can you show me the video right now? Chris. Show me the video, please. Where do I keep it? Can you show me the video, please? <laughs>